Hey everyone, good morning. I am so excited about this film today because I am going to be showing you one of my favorite types of hidden Mickey pins, the completers that help you guys finish the sets. First, we're going to talk about hidden Mickey pins, in case you don't know. Um, hidden Mickeys are pins that cast members at Disney parks wear on their lanyards. And they don't sell them like um, in the stores as rack pins. You can only get them by trading with cast members. You can tell a Hidden Mickey because they have a small Mickey icon on them. Now originally, Hidden Mickeys did not have that icon and they weren't called that. They were called Cast Lanyard Collection because they were found on cast lanyards. I'm trying not to shake the camera. Hope you can see on the back of the Hidden Mickeys, it'll tell you Hidden Mickey pin and it'll say, like this one says number two of five. And um, each set will be marked on the back with how many is in it and which number this is. The majority of sets have five. Some have six or seven or three or four. A completer pin on the other hand will actually say completer pin on the back to let you know that you found something special. They do make completer pins that are not hidden Mickeys. It doesn't have to be a hidden Mickey to be a completer. A lot of times, limited edition sets or frame sets or um, just like a, a set that comes out of series in general will have a completer pin to it. Um, these are usually very hard to get or a lot harder to get than the original pins in the series. And it's supposed to be that way because, you know, it's just something cool to get to complete your set. A completer pin is not the same as a chaser pin. A chaser pin, or a chaser hidden Mickey specifically, is an all silver hidden Mickey with no color, and it's just like an addition to the set, not a completer. Now you can find completer pins on lanyards and pin boards, like at Disney in the parks, but that's not where they come from originally. Um, the older ones, when they first started coming out, where, where they were in little black blind bags, they were $2.95, and once you purchased like pins at the pin store, the pin hut, like $30 worth or whatever, you can buy the little black completer bag for $2.95 as like a purchase with purchase. And that's where they came from, um, and they were only out for a limited time. When they were out, everyone went and tried to get them. Now, the most recent ones came out in the Hidden Mickey like blind bags they sell. They have little like colored bags at the store that have two hidden Mickey pins in it from the different series and I believe that they had included the completers for the like the recent 2015s, 2017s in there. Down to business. <laughs> so I should have put them in order of year. I just didn't think of it when I was getting them all out. Um, I th Let's start with the strawberry. I'm starting with the strawberry because this is the first year that I know of that completers came out. It was 2008 and this is just adorable. Um, you find a lot of strawberries over the years, but a lot of them are fake. Uh, this, as you can see, is a very nice top coat. Here's the back of it. This is 2008 completer pin as the two nubs. So this is the first year that they had came out with completers, like I said, that I know of. It was the strawberry. It's this um, AM, like the sign, the AM. There's a gray one also. This blue one's a completer pin. There was also a rearview mirror princess series. If you've seen them, they're like rectangles, and it's supposed to be the princesses looking in their rearview mirror. The Jasmine was a completer for that in 2008. Ooh, another one from 2008 that's really hard to get, like the strawberry, is the Duffy Bear sitting with his arms and over his mouth and his legs open wide. He's a completer. And there's also a really cute pirate uh, Donald as a rubber duck. So the next year, 09, that completers came out was this watermelon and there was this one. It's no standing when you're on the rides and there were a few more like a blue ribbon and um, a dark red Mickey head for the Mickey, like colorful Mickey icons. And these came out at the Museum of Pentiquities pen event in Epcot. It was um, the first year that I'd seen that because we went to every, you know, pin event. And when you're at the pin event, real quick, sorry. <laughs> when you were at the pin event, you can go to the big pin boards and you can trade. And they'll put, like, pin event, cool, like, 
chaser pins that you can only get there. And then, you know, of course, they have all their like really nice limited edition AP, like low LE pins on the board you can pick from. And that year, they also put out brand new Hidden Mickeys completers. So it was very hard to choose because you know with hidden Mickey completers that they're going to be super popular, they're going to be like really wanted. It was hard to give up, it was hard to give up those over the low LE pins or the other event pins. And of course, hidden Mickey completers and hidden Mickeys in general have been faked like crazy. It's very hard to tell which ones are real or not. I used to have the real watermelons and stuff from the pin event. I probably got rid of them because back then I didn't really collect hidden Mickeys or food. This is one I found in my collection. It's the nicest I've seen that it, it might be real. It's, um, it's questionable. It really is. I'm kind of thinking it's not just because of the starburst, but it's a nice quality pen and I don't care because you can't really tell and that's how I am with fake pens. I'll keep it until I find one better. It's not going to bother me. It's all a piece of metal. <laughs> the next series that came out in 2010 is one of my favorites, not necessarily because they're really cool, but just because that's when I really got into pen trading when we moved down here and we um, had found them all over and it was like just the memories are there. They are the... Um, this square set here with Mickey, they're called Neon Brights or Neon Mickey, but they resemble the Andy Warhol, um, pictures or prints or paintings or whatever. So that yellow one is the completer for that. The Stitch Good came out to complete the Good Pin series. Everyone will go around asking for some good hidden Mickeys or good pins. They made a pin series that were good <laughs> and he's a completer uh, you can tell this coloring here is the real one it's a light kind of pink good and figment I mean <laughs> stitch is this color and then this um, shirt oh my gosh I forget what it Saratoga Springs the uh, horse jockey it was this green lanyard the green one is a completer for the lanyard series they also had an well I don't have one anymore I used to an orange pennant for the pennant series, that's very hard to find. And there's an Ariel Little Mermaid heart that completed the Princess Heart series. That's extremely hard to find and really pretty. For 2011, we have, I think, this green figment that completes the full figment set. There's two of them. Here's the other one for a different year, the different figment set. That's tonal. I don't know. <laughs> I have a very bad memory, you guys. I'm doing pretty good for my bad memory. <laughs> I know this DB is from Disneyland. He's a Mouseketeer completer from 2011. They have the moon. Where's the moon? He's. My dad was like, what is that ugly thing? It is the Funmeister, you guys, from Pleasure Island. It's their. Uh, it was the Pleasure Island icon. And this is the completer for the retro icon series from 2012. They also had a Snow White yellow flower completer and a Tinkerbell t-shirt from Disneyland. These are just some I remember I don't have anymore. I know that that one is a 2011 and it's the orange bird set. You wouldn't know it because it's a heart even though it's orange. It just says I love you. But you guys know that super adorable hidden Mickey set with the orange birds, like him lounging on the chair and him flying? Well, this is the completer for that set, and it's, it's very rare. Um, I've seen a few on eBay lately that are cheap. And someone asked how you know if they're fake or not. That's a good question. My flags go up when I start seeing them on eBay after not seeing them for years and years. You might see two or three or four on there for a cheap price. That's going to raise my red flag. But my best you know tip would be to ask the seller ask if they can you know guarantee its authenticity if they can't then you're just taking a chance and that's up to you let me show you this one just so you see what it looks like on the back for 2012 let's see we have the Ursula coffin which is really awesome isn't it I don't know if you guys even know that they made a coffin Hidden Mickey series in Disneyland. This is the completer pen. I'm probably just gonna keep it and put it on my lanyard. I'm making a lanyard for villains. Uh, the facilier is gonna go on there too. 
but I do have extra of the Facilier. Hey you guys, I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to keep all these and some of these I have extras of. So if you guys want to check out my store at everythingmousypins.com, I will be or have listed them there. If you guys want some that you don't want to worry about their authenticity. <laughs> this t-shirt is another rare and it's 2012. It's a Fantasyland um, cast costume and it's the completer for the Fantasyland set. This compass <clears throat> completes the compass set. Is he figments the completer? The conductor Duffy is the completer for the uh, for Duffy set from Disneyland. Rabbit is a 2012. He completes the um, gosh sweet characters. No, just the Winnie the Pooh. It's called like Winnie the Pooh collection. It's the first like the Winnie the Pooh set. It's really cute, and the whole set's hard to find. There's like Tigger and Pooh because it's just so adorable. And then there's this guy next to the fantasy land. <laughs> Do you guys know who this is? He's a completer. Nobody wants him. Just see, I mean, it's weird. Like you can be like, okay, so that completer might sell for like fifty dollars, and that one might sell for five dollars. Why? Well, I mean, I don't want to be like it's obvious, but the cooler the pin is, the more people are gonna want it. So you know, you have a really cool like coffin pin compared to this like sorry but dumb looking dude that no one knows who he is you know it's just that that's how pins and values go but this guy is from the Dumbo movie and this he's called skinny he's one of the bullies that was making fun of Dumbo that's why his cape is out like that making fun of his ears we're moving on 2013 this is Pooh with Teddy Barra it's from a Disneyland set they also had like a, a Pooh with a Heffalump or, Heffalump or something like that there is this popcorn. I love, you know, me and the food ones, but I loved the popcorn ones always just because, you know, they look just like the stickers on the popcorn you could buy at Disney World. There are five character popcorn pins in the set, and there is a Mickey one. So this is a double Mickey. So the difference would be the background color, the brown. We'll show you that this one's the completer. I forget the color of the regular one. The thing with this, you guys, I'm going to keep this one. I have one or two extra that I'm going to be selling. I forgot I even had them. I just found them out a few days ago. The thing about this set is when they first started screen printing back here, like in 2012 or whatever, it's like they screen printed on top of the pin when they were done and they didn't top coat it. So these red stripes here will like just rub off super easy and you know damage the pin. Um, so I want to wear this on my food vest but I'm like I don't want to damage it and just ruin it. I'm actually thinking about like top coating it myself somehow with like uh, like a car polish or like fingernail polish or something. I might just do that because why not experiment, you know, see if it works. <laughs> this is the fish pinwheel. It's a Toontown pinwheel set. I've not been to Disneyland in a long time, so I haven't seen these around, like on the buildings or wherever they are. Um, but this also rubs off. You see the little white dots are supposed to be white, and these rubbed off to silver. And also here on this buoy thing, the white will rub off. This Oswald is the completer for the Disneyland 2013, um, what is it called? Just Got Happier. I call it like Smile or Grin because it just looks like it. But it's called Just Got, just Got Happier set. Ziggy from the Jungle Book. <laughs> He's the completer for the one of the bird series. There's like at least two bird series probably for each park. We have Roger Rabbit who completes the White Glove series. There are White Gloves with characters on it. He's the yellow completer from Disneyland. We have another cast costume. This one is from Epcot. It's the Universe of Energies costume and it's the completer for one of the cast costume sets. And this is the year that Facilier came out. He's the Disneyland completer for the Duffy set. And Walt Disney World got the Steamboat Willie completer for Duffy. There are more completer pins for these years. These are just, of course, the ones that I have I'm showing you. And then we have the newer ones that just came out, you know, this year. Um, the first ones I saw were 
the ones that are supposed to complete the 2015 sets, even though they were released like in, you know, 2018, they're for the 2015 sets. Like this one is for the first retro Epcot attractions. This one is for the, you know, character sidekicks. This one is for like a food set. Um, and then we have the newer, newer ones that just came out for this brand new, like 2018 sets, which is the lamp, the Ma Maui tattoos, and there's like the Tinkerbell, and there's other ones around. They actually made lots of cool ones for lots of sets. Um, if you guys want to check out like what your completer is and what set it, it goes to, I suggest pinpix.com. It's the pin database. Um, you can just look up your pin, use keywords. Let's see if there's any I missed, because I'm sure I did. So, oh, did I show you the Baker Duffy? He's so cute. I'm going to put him on my food jacket. He's so cute. And then uh, I only need one more, the classic saying, right? This is from the Phrase series, old set. Oh, we got the Boxing Goofy for the Sports Goofy set. Ooh, Pinocchio, he's a cool one. You guys remember the pin traders? It's the like full bodied characters that you see in the pin traders hut at um, Disney Springs or downtown Disney. There's like a Daisy and a Donald. Well, this is the um, completer. The hard one in the normal set is Buzz Lightyear. You never see him. I think we saw those and the moon. Oh, we got the ice skater, you guys, from the like the Blizzard Beach icon. Also with him, his white on his teeth and stuff, it comes off really easily. The Figment t-shirt's old one. Um, he's adorable because it's just his shirt he wears. We have the completer for the Country Bear Jamboree, Big Al. This is a classic D set. I think there's two completers for this set. Maybe a Jiminy also. There's also two continent completers. This one's Australia. I believe the blue Antarctica is. Scar completes the villain um, Magic Kingdom parking lot set. There's a blue hero set that does not have a completer. And this is the completer for the villain. We've got Mr. Toad for the character stars. Ooh, we have the Vulture from Splash Mountain. He completes the Walt Disney World bird set. And um, beware, he is, you see him all over now as fake. Um, you can tell usually by the front of it, it doesn't look nice. The back, let me show you up close. Here's the back. The heads go off nicely. The nubs are just large and point, like they're supposed to be not tiny and small. And the tonal figment and the watermelon. We got the jasmine. I call it a shield. I think it's, they call it like a princess emblem. We got cute Abu. When I found him on a lanyard, I didn't even know he was a completer. So I flipped it over and saw it, and I was like, oh my gosh! <laughs> the no standing. We got the orange Epcot. And oh, he is for the, um, there's like a band set, a Main Street, uh, like characters. You know, there's like McGillicuddy, whatever her name is, and Clarice, and you know, um, Mickey Scoop Sanderson. Well, this is a completer for that set. And I think that's all. That's all my completers I have that I could find out. I have more around, but I was like, this will be enough, right? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope I've taught you guys something or given you that need to go and find that completer that, you know, helps you finish your set. Um, check out my store, everythingmasterpins.com, and good luck with your collections. Bye!